All right, guys, you can put away your ASM1s and your bows because I found a new gun that is extremely underrated in my opinion. It is an absolute beast of a gun, and I didn't realize it because it recently actually got buffed, so it made it even better. But the MP11 is actually not a bad submachine gun. Now, a lot of people don't use it because it's kind of a wimpy gun. It's kind of puny. It doesn't do a ton of damage. And that's what I'm going to talk about in a second because there's different var different variants that do uh, different stuff. And this one in particular I'm using in this gameplay, the Goliath, is absolutely insane. This is probably the best variation of the gun. Uh, three higher damage, so you're going to be killing enemies at longer range uh, a, a lot more efficiently. I don't know if it does any damage up close rather than the MPL. I'm not sure about that one. But this is definitely, definitely a good gun. If you want to use a different SMG, this is actually a viable weapon now. It is very good, like I said, it is a. It got buffed, so um, its range damage and stuff was upgraded, but there are a few downsides to it, and we need to go over that. Uh, one of them is that the base MP11 is not really the best. Like, if you know how many variants, it's still, even with the buffs, it's still just a meh weapon. It's like, I don't think I would use it if I'm like tryharding or anything like that, but um, the Goliath is definitely a gun that you can go hard with and compete with the ASM1, compete with the bow. Uh, of course, staying in, staying in your range, but it is definitely an actual weapon that you can use and you can be successful with it. But the MP11 by itself is not an amazing weapon. You need attachments to make it uh, pretty good because the recoil is pretty bad without a foregrip. I'm going to go over my attachments here in a little bit when I show you the actual class setup. But like I said, there's a few problems with it, and one of them is its clip size, and this can affect your attachments. I just find myself reloading way, way, way too much without the extended clip. If you see in this gameplay, I get, I can get one, two, maybe three kills if I'm lucky. Then I gotta reload. And if you, I in this gameplay right here that you're seeing, I took off the red dot, and put on extended clip, and the iron sight, the iron sights are not very clean. They're really, they're just really not good to use. I don't like the looks of them. They shake around too much. They're just, I recommend a red dot if you wanna get your targets better but you can alternate between targets or you can alternate between the red dot and the extended clip is what I'm trying to say so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you my class setup right here and show you what this looks like so this is my class setup for it now like I said you can use the extend max or you can use the red dot it's up to you but I definitely recommend you use foregrip and advanced rifling also you need that advanced rifling uh, it helps you get those longer range kills and the foregrip obviously steady out pretty pretty much standard perks uh, you can run those are just stealthy and quick perks so um, that's the setup that I have. So if you guys learned something from this, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys on another video.